Hello, I'm Ian from the IBM Sustainability Support Team. In this short video, I'll show you how to use the Garbage Collection and Memory Visualizer GCMV tool to interpret verbose GC information collected from your server. To begin with, you need to install the Garbage Collection and Memory Visualizer GCMV for short. The link in the description is helpful for this. The next thing is to start GCMV. I'm working in a Windows environment. You will see a window like this. From here you go to File, Load File, specify the path to the verbose GC, and then Open. After you load the log, you may see a screen that says no data to display. Don't panic, your data is there. You just need to add some metrics that you want to visualize. Go to Data Selector, and notice that there are three categories, VGC, VGC Pause, and VGC heap. I have some favorite metrics that I like to visualize, so let's add them one by one. I should note that the scale of each metric, once you add it, overlaps on the left and right of the graph. So you may wish to choose a smaller number of metrics to visualize at one time in your environment. First, let's go to VGC heap. In here, let's add the heap size. The heap size is the amount of overall heap that is set in the JVM. You can see that as soon as you select a metric, it is visualized on the graph immediately. Next, let's add the tilt ratio. At this point, I need to mention that in engineering lifecycle management, we use the Gen Con JVM policy in all our applications. Our applications use a lot of HTTP requests and therefore produce mostly short-lived objects. So this policy matches our requirements. In GenCon, there is a nursery space for those short-lived objects and a tenured space for older objects. The tilt ratio will tell us how effectively that nursery space is being used and if it is big enough. Next, let's add the used heap after collection. This tells us how much heap is used at any one time. Note that there is a used tenured heap after collection that we could also add to check how that space is filling up. Next, let's look at the VGC pause section. In here, I like to add compact time and pause time because they tell me when the JVM is attempting to compact the heap memory and when the JVM is halted in order to garbage collect. Compact time is expensive for large heaps and occurs more frequently when the tenured space cannot be cleared. More frequent pauses may be an indication that garbage collection is not able to reclaim heap space. Likewise, I sometimes like to add proportion of time in garbage collection. It should generally be less than 2% of the overall time. If it's more than this, the server may be preoccupied with garbage collection and not running the ELM applications. If you are investigating the cause of a heap crash on the server, these metrics may show you where to zero in on interesting parts of the graph. Finally, let's look at the VGC section. In here, I like to add the soft references cleared metric. This often happens when the JVM is desperate to find more heap space and reclaims server caches that are used to improve performance. So that's not a good thing. Clearly, there is something happening at the far right of the graph. So let's zoom in on that. I'm going to zoom in to about 24, which may take a little bit of time. In the zoom view, let's set the X axis to, to that 24 and then move the slider to the part of the graph we want to see more closely. You can see that just before 5 a.m., here we are, 5 a.m. on January 18, something happened. It looks like a large operation is overwhelming the server. There's a brown line here it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a brown line here, which is the soft references, which is when the soft references are cleared. And we have also here, tilt ratio dropping below 90%, which is where we want it to be. So that's also an indication that there is, is a large operation happening. There are long pink pauses approaching 12 seconds. Okay, so you have tw pink here and here's our 12 second mark. So yes, a lot of them are long pauses. And there's also the blue compaction uh, working over time. You can see these blue compaction of the JVM happening. Uh, the used heap is not clearing from 520. If we look at 520 here, we can see it is maxed out at its limit of 12 gigabytes. Check the report tab. 
each metric has its own graph with mean, minimum, and maximum. Uh, review the tuning recommendations, but review them with a grain of salt. Um, not everything applies. But uh, you can see that compaction occurred uh, due to extremely low heap memory, and the occupancy of the tenured heap is 95%. So if this is not a once-off event, increasing heap may be helpful. Now with regard to verbose GC log files, fortunately they are generated by default in WebSphere application server Liberty, bundled with engineering lifecycle management. And in WebSphere application server version 9003 and above, as we have here. They are logged to their own file in either case, so it is easy to find. Look for one of the larger log files where there is more activity. In Liberty, you can find the logs in the Jazz Team server, server, Liberty, servers, CLM directory by default. Here you can see the verbose GC. In traditional WebSphere application server, you can find them in the server log root directory, which is typically the WAS home profiles, profile name, logs, server name, which is typically server one. And here at the verbose GC. Thank you for joining us to learn about using the garbage collection and memory visualizer tool to interpret verbose GC logs. If you need more assistance, use the link in the description to access the product documentation.